Today we went out and we caught a permit on a live crab. Permit love live crabs, soda bonefish and tarpon. And the hook I like is this octopus beak, size 3.0, for kind of the medium sized crabs, kind of like a half dollar size crab. I go up in hook size depending on the size of the crab or go down in hook size. But this, this particular hook has a great big wide gap in it. And so when the fish eats the crab, he sucks it in, he's inevitably gonna get the, the pointy end of the hook. And it's got the turned up eye, so when you pull it, the hook point goes right down and in, in, into the fish. And it usually gets him right in the corner like we got him today. So the reason I like a J hook on crabs instead of uh, a circle hook is because it just penetrates through the shell a lot easier. When you put a hook into a crab, you don't wanna bust up the shell um, it, it kills a crab. So I want to just kind of poke it through the corner, the pointy end of the crab from underneath. So I'm going to, I'm going to just poke the hook in through the underneath of the shell, right where the point is on the crab, very gently, just in the corner there. You want to poke it through the bottom part of the shell. So where it starts to come through the top of the shell, but you want to just do it real careful, kind of working the hook back and forth so as not to break the shell, not to hurt the crab too much. You gotta work the, the point in and the barb. Real easy. Till it pokes through. That way there's not a huge hunk and hole there and it's not gonna fly off when you cast. It's a nice light wire hook and that, that crab's still gonna move, right? As soon as he hits, he's gonna swim to the bottom and that fish is gonna pounce on it.